There's two things that organizations need to do in order to positively influence individual behavior and promote a culture that most organizations say they want to promote. The first thing is you have to pick the right people for the right reasons for the right positions. The right person for the position could be somebody who has the training, someone who has the education, who has the knowledge, the understanding, and somebody who is capable of making good decisions that are in the best interests of all people. Somebody else who could also qualify as the right person is somebody who maybe doesn't have all of those things, but is willing to put in the time, the effort, and the work to become proficient in those things. I've had leaders come in and say, I don't know everything that you guys know. I was doing this other thing and now I'm here doing this and I'm willing to learn and just soak up what you guys have to offer me. And obviously, you know, that's the supervisor, so he's gonna make the decisions, but that's respected by subordinates. And that mentality creates an environment in which people want to be included in, people wanna be a part of. The one thing you can't do is pick somebody for a position who is a terrible person, somebody who isn't good to other people, somebody who doesn't hold other people accountable in the ways in which we should, somebody who isn't fair, somebody who doesn't create a work environment in which other people enjoy being a part of. Because if you happen to have that person in that position, then that's something that is extremely difficult, if at all possible, to control or change the behavior of that person. So the other thing that organizations should be doing is a way for subordinates to hold leaders accountable through maybe some type of review process where subordinate, then therefore there would be an incentive for leaders to be the person in which they are trying to promote the organization and the culture to be. Because if there's, if you end up with somebody in a position who isn't the right person for the job, well, that's maybe easier to do if they don't have the skills or they're making bad decisions. But how do the subordinates feel about the environment that they're in? And if there's no way to hold them accountable, then there's no incentive for them to do the right thing, treat people in the way in which people should be treated in order to create the environment that organizations say they wanna create.